don't let your work speak for itself. I hate hearing that. I hear it all the time. But I let my work speak for itself. And things will naturally happen. And I will have a great career and keep getting promoted. No! You're relying on hope. <laughs> Take control of your career. How many of you tend to shy away from speaking up, standing out, and creating visibility for yourself? No, uh, no hands. Um, but very good. I, I, I'm liking that we have this response and column response. So I actually want you to stand up. If you feel this way, if you, have a, you tend to shy away from speaking up, standing out, creating visibility for yourself, I want you to stand up. Now for all of you who are shy and hesitant right now, and you're like, I don't want to stand up. This is the purpose here. How many of you are really excited about having the conversation about how I'm perceived? <laughs> oh, there are some. Okay. Maybe you didn't understand the question I asked, but, <laughs> but I'm glad you're excited. Most people dread the conversation, but I can tell you from my experience throughout the years that it's not as bad as you think. People are more honest than you realize. And it doesn't have to be a formal occasion. You could give a presentation, and after the presentation, you can go up to someone and say, you know, how do you think that presentation went? That's called feedback. Feedback's important. Now, sometimes you might sit there, well, maybe they won't say anything. You, then you can start the conversation and say, you know what? I'm working on this one area. I'm trying to be um, more to the point and direct in my communications. And so I'm about to give a presentation, or I'm about to speak up in a meeting today, and I want you to observe me. And let me know afterwards what you think. Great idea, right? So try these out, because those are simple ways to get feedback and data.